वेलकम फ्रेंड टू चैप्टर नंबर एट अल्टरनेटिव फ्यूल्स एंड एग्जॉस्ट इमिशन सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर फर्स्ट डिस्कसिंग ऑन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर दैट इज अल्टरनेटिव फ्यूल्स एंड आफ्टर दैट वील डिस्कस एग्जॉस्ट इमिशन सो कंटेंट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज वेरियस अल्टरनेटिव फ्यूल्स एंड दे आर सुटेबिलिटी फॉर आई सी इंजिन so we are going to discuss the different types of that alternative fuels available and their suitability for ic engines means how they are to be suitable for the internal combustion engines that we have to discuss one by one so why the need of the alternative fuel that is arises so as we know that due to the increasing industrialization and motorization in the world which are going to increase the demand of petroleum products demand of petroleum products is increasing day by day due to this industrialization and motorization and because of that as we know that the petroleum based fuels which are extracted from the earth from the earth core getting so there are limitations there is some limitations from to extract the fuel from the earth getting from the earth so what are the resources that is available of this petroleum that is uh, having some limitations getting that is having the some limitations and there may be having the fear that they are not going to be last long in coming years getting due to this rising demand of petroleum products getting so the geologists throughout the world are searching for further deposits getting they are searching for the further their alternative that ways for these fossil fuels for this petroleum fuels getting so many countries today solely dependent on imports to meet their fuel requ oil requirements as we know that we are also uh, dependent on the gulf countries on the russia like which are the more having the uh, ample that <coughs> they are having the ample that petroleum products with them and in that way we are having the dependent on these countries and many more will be added in future as they are limited reserves of petroleum deposits get exhausted so the day by day the situation becomes very difficult for india which are going to import the 70% of required fuel and also they are going to spend the 30% of their foreign exchange earnings on these oil imports getting so as time passes this trend will be aggravated this this trend will be becomes more severe difficult if we are not going to find out the alternative fuels for the internal combustion engines getting apart from these problems as we know that the emissions or pollutants from the fossil fuels from this petroleum that fuels is also day by day that is will be the more hazardous for our atmosphere for our environment getting and because of that there is need of this various alternative fuels is going to be us. so as cost of the conventional fuels goes up the interest in other fuel sources increases that is the first why we are going to prefer the alternative fuels in some cases alternative fuels are more environmentally friendly getting it is more environmentally friendly means emissions pollutants are less some alternative fuels are more energy efficient some alternative fuels are more energy efficient so an alternative fuel vehicle is a vehicle that runs on a fuel other than traditional petroleum fuels and also refers to an any technology of powering an engine that does not involve solely petroleum example electric car hybrid electric vehicle solar powered car getting so in that case there is no any involvement of such that petroleum fuels so a converted vehicle is one that was originally designed to operate on gasoline or diesel and has been altered to run on alternative fuel so that is known as the converted that vehicles likewise nowadays 
vehicles are uh, running on same petrol as well as cng petrol on as well as lpg getting or hybrid vehicles likewise the converted vehicles that is uh, nowadays to be so in this slide you can see the exhaust emissions that is occurred from the vehicles from transport as well as from the car and this is this is a severe one this situation becomes aggravated this pollution is hazardous regarding the human health as well as for the our atmosphere that is green day atmosphere so various types of alternative fuels ethanol natural gas propane hydrogen biodiesel electricity methanol and solar energy these are the various types of alternative fuels here we are going to be discuss so first we we'll discuss the ethanol <coughs> first we will discuss the ethanol so ethanol is an alcohol based alternative fuel produced by fermenting and distilling starch crops or cellulose that have been converted into simple sugars getting okay. so ethanol or ethyl alcohol as a transport fuel has been attractive a lot of attention because it is seen as a relatively cheap non petroleum based fuel getting okay. so ethanol is most commonly used to increase the octane number so increase in the octane number means that will increase the resistance toward the knocking of the particular engine as well as is improves the emission quality of the gasoline using so this ethanol is to be produced to large extent from biomass getting that is large extent from the biomass which aids in agriculture economy by creating a stable market for it ethanol is being a pure compound has a fixed set of physical as well as chemical properties getting so ethanol can be blended with gasoline to create e85 e85 a blend of 85% of ethanol and 15% of gasoline so ethanol can degrade quickly in water therefore causing less environmental harm than oil in the case of spill getting oil in case of the spilling spill means when it is to be <coughs> any vibrations with the vehicle there may be chances of the leakage of this fuel or fuel may be the spill from the engine in that case that is a less this is harmful getting so the use of alcohol in si engine that is a started in 1960s in 1960s and in between 1950 to 1960s the use of this fuel is to be started like the countries like germany usa france headings they are going to start such alternative fuels in the 1950 and 1960 in between this 50 and 60 so ethyl alcohol can be as we discussed it is to be produced by fermentation of vegetables plant materials getting likewise this uh, ethanol is to be produced but countries like india ethanol is a strong candidate as we have agricultural resources for the production of ethyl alcohol it is more attractive for our india more attractive fuel for our india as productive capacity is high on the order of 1035 liter per hectare from the sugar cane crops getting as we know that india is the mostly based the agriculture country so we are having the large that availability of the sugar cane and so we can easily got the most attractive fuel we can see as a ethanol getting as a ethanol so ethanol is an excellent clean burning fuel potentially providing more horsepower than gasoline getting likewise it is having the advantages getting so they we are going to be extract the ethanol from so many that plants vegetables like sugar cane corn getting beet potatoes wheat from which we are going to form the ethyl alcohol or ethanol getting so and e85 means this ethanol having 80 per 85% of ethanol and 15% of the gasoline is flexible fuel vehicle or dual fuel vehicle is an alternative fuel with 
uh, internal combustion engine designed to run on more than one fuel usually gasoline blended with either ethanol or methanol advantage reduces the use of imported petroleum because it is domestically produced lower air pollutant emissions increase resistance to engine knock similar to slightly higher cost compared to gasoline vehicles same cost as gasoline disadvantage only compatible with flex fuel vehicles getting lower mileage per gallon compared to the gasoline vehicles getting so these are the different the advantages disadvantages of the ethanol now i will discuss the methanol how methanol is to be again suitable for the vehicle so methanol behaves like a petroleum so it can be stored and shifted in the same manner methanol behaves like a petroleum so it is more flexible fuel than hydrocarbon fuels permitting wider variation from idle air fuel ratio getting from idle air fuel ratio so it is relatively good lean combustion characteristics compared to the hydrogen hydrocarbon fuels it is wider inflammability limits higher flame speed should higher thermal efficiency and lesser exhaust emission compared to the petrol engine getting methanol can be used directly or mixed with gasoline you can use it solely or mixed with the gasoline similar to the ethanol so test show that improvement in fuel economy if 5 to 30 percent getting improvement that is a 5 to 30 percent fuel economy decreases co emission by 14 to 70 percent with varying methanol in petrol from 5 to 30 percent getting so according to the percentage of this methanol in the gasoline we get the different results in terms of fuel economy as well as the emission getting so depending on gasoline methanol mixture some changes in fuel supply systems are essential in both cases in ethanol as well as with the methanol depending upon the methanol and that gasoline mixture how much that percentage of this alcohol in the gasoline accordingly there is no needs some changes simple modifications to be to the carburetor or fuel injections can allow methanol to replace the petrol easily methanol can be produced by from resources that are abundant worldwide as coal natural gas oil shale farm waste from which we can get the methanol getting so from various that resources which provide the methanol so how you compare between the ethanol and methanol how you compare between the ethanol or methanol so ethanol is superior to the methanol because of high ignition limit wide ignition limit is available in ethanol compared to the methanol getting ignition limits are available in a wide range in case of ethanol compared to the methanol that is a first advantage with the ethanol then ethanol calorific value is higher than the methanol calorific value of the ethanol is more than the methanol means whatever the energy that should be released is more in case of methanol sorry ethanol compared to the methanol so calorific value is more or higher in ethanol than the methanol getting as well as it having the more that octane rating fuel compared to the methanol it increased the octane number compared to the methanol getting so widely it is to be used in the si engine fuel it is to be used in the si engine fuel so methanol is also superior to the ethanol in one respect that is its vaporization rate is much higher than the ethanol methanol is easily vaporized than the ethanol so mixing is rapid getting mixing with the air will be rapid because of that again there is a one drawback there will maybe arises that due to this rapidly forms uniform mixture rapid vaporization mixture is rapidly mix whatever there will be chances of vapor locks getting due to this higher vaporization rates that may be a drawback 
so this is about the methylene ethanol now we'll discuss the natural gas we we'll discuss the natural gas so natural gas is produced either from gas wells or in conjunction with crude oil production so because of the gaseous nature of this fuel it must be stored on board a vehicle in either a compressed gas state or liquefied state getting because of the gaseous nature of the fuel then a natural gas vehicle can be less expensive to operate than comparable conventionally fueled vehicle depending on natural gas prices getting so it is stored and distributed in hard containers at a pressure of 200 to 248 bar usually in cylindrical or spherical shapes it can be used in both as as well as in a sense so first we'll discuss the lng lng means liquefied natural gas is the cleanest fossil fuel in the context of current energy transition sought by the european emission it represents an excellent alternative to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions and help combat global warming by developing the use of lng particularly for industry and transport that is the import that is important that advantage the properties of natural gas the low environmental impact of its combustion its energy performance and its abundant reserves distributed around the globe make it an energy of the future getting so the cleanest fossil fuel lng is the cleanest fossil fuel the combustion of natural gas does not emit soot dust or fumes it generates 30% less carbon dioxide than fuel oil 40% less than coal getting as well as the nitrogen oxide emissions getting reduction in the nitrogen oxide emissions almost no environmentally damaging sulfur dioxide emissions so the development of natural gas fuel either in compressed form cng for urban transport or short distances or in liquid form for regional or long distance transport lng is seen as a promising alternative to achieve the new environmental targets so let us see again the lng and the cng so both liquefied natural gas lng and compressed natural gas are natural gas but their differences relate to how they are stored and used getting how they are stored and used so lng to maintain its liquefied state must be stored at minimum 160 degrees celsius in cryogenic storage given the storage temperature of lng there is a first wide risk operators are required to wear the protective gears like gloves face shields and training is needed to ensure safe operation liquefied natural gas or lng by contrast is means for transporting natural gas via modes like pipelines ships tankers like cng lng is compressed but unlike the cng it is cooled to an extremely low to convert it from its natural normal gas state into a liquid state then cng or compressed natural gas compressed natural gas or cng is a natural gas under pressure which remains clear or and odorless and can be used as a cheaper greener and more efficient fueling alternatives cng is comprised of mostly methane gas which like gasoline produces engine power when mixed with air and fed into the engine's combustion chamber so cng is mostly having the methane gas consist of methane gas cng is stored in gas state in high pressure storage cylinders fueling with cng is similar to gas and diesel requiring no special training or gear cng due to its versatility and low storage cost is not only cleaner solution to gasoline and diesel but also more economical answer to liquefied natural gas so cng is a fuel type mostly used in for buses and trucks as, as well as for the cars so cng mostly methane and it's clean burning alternative fuel getting 
clean burning alternative advantage less smog producing less pollutants less greenhouse gas emissions less expensive than gasoline this advantage is limited availability natural gas is less readily available than gasoline and diesel limited driving range as compared to gasoline vehicles getting so yeah. about the so nowadays you can observe the cng pumps in all over world as well as in our india also such cng pumps are to be located in metropolitan cities nowadays they are also going to be located at the district levels in all over india and in coming that years they are to be located everywhere in india along with the petrol and diesel pumps because that is a need of the time so again cng and lpg cng more economical lpg higher calorie value kit more expensive lpg easily available more wear and tear on the engine wears on piston heads with heavy loads safer in case of leakage lighter than air it is not safer one stored at lower pressures does not contaminate and dilute the crankcase oil non corrosive free of tetraethyl lead or any additives likewise differentiate between the cng and lng now propane that is a liquefied petroleum gas is a popular alternative fuel choice vehicles because there is already an infrastructure of pipelines processing facilities and storage for its efficient distribution because such a lpg gases already we are using in our that kitchen as a domestic the use of lpg is going in our india from last many years so lpg produces the fewer vehicle emissions than gasoline as lpg is contains of the butane in case of cng it contains the methane this lpg contains of the butane and propane mostly it is a propane with the butane so lpg produces fewer vehicle emissions than gasoline fewer toxic and smoke forming air pollutants propane is produced as a by product of natural gas processing and crude oil refining propane vehicles can produce fewer ozone forming emissions than vehicles powered by reformulated gasoline the cost of gasoline gallon equivalent of propane is generally less than that of the gasoline so driving a propane vehicle can save money so now they also you can observe the lpg pumps they are available throughout the india they are to be the government sector companies as well as from the private sectors like go gas right like go gas auto gas they are also providing such lpg pumps now we'll discuss the biodiesel how again the biodiesel is suitable so again the biodiesel is domestically produced renewable fuel that can be manufactured from vegetable oils animal fats or recycled natural uh, restaurant waste biodiesel is safe biodegradable reduces serious air pollutants such as particulate carbon monoxide hydrocarbons air toxics biodiesel can also be in its pure form but it may be required in certain engine modifications to avoid the maintenance and and performance problems may not be suitable for winter time use so again till biodiesel also having the research is going on biodiesel is also very much suitable for engine with some the only the minor or simple modifications getting in like in fuel injection system it is to be useful for the our vehicle so again the pure biodiesel that is b100 cost about in dollar 3.50 roughly a dollar more per gallon than petrol diesel need to heat storage tanks in colder climates to prevent the fuel from gilling like e85 like ethanol e85 e biodiesel began with the farm cops and local entrepreneurs 
means pharmaceutical pharma part of this pharma cooperative societies and local entrepreneurs high fuel prices affect farmers too and here was an opportunity to make money from otherwise follow the farmland so it is very much good for the farmers to get the money with the biodiesel then biogas biogas is produced by anaerobic digestion and fermentation of biodegradable materials such as biomass manure sewage municipal waste green waste land material or energy crops we can produce the biogas from these resources this type of biogas comprises primarily methane and carbon dioxide biogas can be compressed much like natural gas and used to power motor vehicles biogas is completely odorless and the risk of fire or explosion is less than other fuels sweden denmark germany are the biggest user of biogas for car buses and for the trains so see such biogas that vehicles also available also we know that such biogas that is also to be with our that farms as well as with the industries with the institutions they are also farming the biogas also our indian government is going to promote such biogas plants to be farmed by the farmers by the big institutes or the industries having the where the waste is to be available kitchen waste is to be available